welcome to Little Learners. Today I wanted to talk to you about my new CPD course all about the progress check at age two. In this course I talk about what the check is, what should be included in it, and I show you an example of a filled out check as well. I also provide through this CPD course a format that you can use in your setting to carry out the check if you are looking for one. So without further ado, let's look at the introduction video to this course. Hello and welcome to this course on the progress check at age two. This is a statutory check that early years settings must undertake for children in their care who are between the ages of two and three. My name is Amy and throughout these videos I'm going to be taking you through different aspects of the check including what it is, what needs to be included in it, what documents can support you when carrying out the check and also some examples of best practice. A bit about me, I am a trained primary school teacher specialising in early education. I have a YouTube channel for teachers and parents of children in early education with video content ranging from how to teach phonics to preparing children for starting reception. I have lectured on a primary education BA degree course and I'm currently working as an education consultant for parents, teachers and students to advise and help them with any kind of early years topic they wish to discuss. This course will be following the DfE professional development standards so let's take a look at how they apply in this particular course. Standard 1. Professional development should have a focus on improving and evaluating pupil outcomes. The progress check at age 2 requires practitioners to review a child's progress and assess their development as well as find their next steps in order to further support their learning in the setting. This course aims to give you the knowledge and the confidence to do this, therefore ensuring a focus on improving and evaluating the outcomes of the children in your setting. Standard 2. Professional development should be underpinned by robust evidence and expertise. You'll be able to find all the documents I refer to in this course available for download or via a link. I will be citing the statutory framework as well as some non-statutory guidance and will make clear which one is being referred to. I will be using my own experience and expertise as an early years teacher and education consultant to deliver this course. Standard 3, professional development should include collaboration and expert challenge. There will be various opportunities to discuss questions raised in this course with colleagues and you are invited to use the group to further develop your ideas. And finally, Standard 4, professional development programmes should be sustained over time. The wonderful thing about my CPD group is the opportunity for continued professional development. Not only can you re-watch these videos at any time, you can also use the forum to discuss ideas with other practitioners. Your professional development does not stop when the video stops. You have the unique opportunity with this platform to continue developing your practice. You are also of course welcome to contact me with any questions. The aims of this course are to understand the purpose of the progress check at age 2 what the assessment or check involves, how to carry out the check, how to report or document the check, and what documents can be used to support you when carrying out this check. So that's really everything for the introduction to this course. Let's move on to the next video to find out all you need to know about the progress check at age two. Okay, so that's the end of the introduction portion of this course. If you want to find out more about it and take the full course, then you can find all the information in the description box down below and in the pinned comment. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments or contact me via my social media. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can find out when I post more CPD courses. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. <laughs>